What's up, Much Music? It's Georgia here with the one and only Canadian country singer-songwriter, Josh Ross. What's up? How are you? You're here. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Well, you know what? Just starting, I want to set the record straight. I see on your Instagram bio that it says, some call me JR. Do you have any other yes. nicknames I should know about? Probably not ones that are good. <laughs> I, want, I want to know those <laughs> no, ones. Though. Those are the ones I want no, to know. No, no. J- JR was always my nickname, even like growing up, football and all that kind of stuff. That's funny because my nickname's GK. GK. <laughs> He's like, yeah. See, it's, it's easy. Right. I, no, it's definitely easy. JR Jer, is awesome. And I mean, it's funny. A lot of people also just say it because it's not easy to say Josh Ross. A lot of people like, Really? People, that's well, a like tongue twister to some? Josh twisted. Ross. Wait. See? Josh Ross, Josh Ross. See? Josh Ross, Josh Ross, Josh Ross. Yes. Say Josh Ross three times and the legend yes. says? <laughs> he says, then you'll rather say JR. Yeah, yes. exactly. Awesome. Well, let's talk Junos. You're nominated for the fan choice at this year's Juno Awards. How does it feel? I mean, I feel like these awards are pretty special when it's coming from... Fans. It's coming from the fans, yeah. Yeah, no, it, that's that's the biggest thing for me. I mean, I got into music because of what it did to me and, and what it does to me. And, um, you know, I, I know that that's what it does to people. And uh, to have fans that resonate with my music and all that, it, it's really incredible. And just to be nominated with so many other great artists, obviously, it uh, in representing country music, it's, it's really awesome. Absolutely. And you're going to be performing as well. Yes. How do you prep for something like this? Um, it's going to be different. Show. Yeah, award yeah. show. I mean, the TV is always different. We're yes. you know really trying to showcase as much as we can in that in the time slot that we get. And yeah, we're just actually figuring that out right now. So I'm excited. Okay, perfect. And are you uh, are you nervous? I obviously you're playing live all the time, but yeah, at TV's a, concert. a little different. Yeah, yeah, it's a little different for sure. It's a different feel, um, especially if you're not like super close to the band, depending on where Fair. they are and all that. So yeah, definitely a little a little more nervous for it, but. I think once I'm one of those people like once it starts I'll be all good. Absolutely, yeah. and you're performing here. Yes. Are you looking forward to it, it's Toronto crazy. crowd? It's crazy. Toronto's like a home. I mean, it's the closest thing to home for me. And for sure. yeah, to think you know we switch the venues a bunch of times here and yeah. and and uh, the sellout history is pretty amazing. So history is such a great venue. I'm excited. It's yes. crazy. And your home, you're based in Nashville. Home, yeah, home is Nashville. Been there since uh, 2019. Wow. Okay. So. And then do you uh, are there things that you miss about here, or is that um, fully like? It's, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm not even home like a ton now, but I definitely miss, I came home for Christmas just for a little bit and just, yeah. you know, the snow around Christmas yeah. and uh, I went up north, um, like Huntsville way for okay. a couple of days and got away and, um, definitely just miss being able to do that. Winter Wonderland. Sure. Yes, for exactly. Sure. But yeah. Nashville, obviously. Nashville is, <laughs> Nashville's home. Nashville's, uh, it just, it suits me. Yeah, a lot better. So. Totally. Yeah. Good for the country music, yes. everything. Uh, speaking of your music, you have a new EP, Complicated, coming out March 29th. Yes. Tell me about that. What can you tell us about the project? Uh, it's it's going to kind of just showcase a bunch of different sides of me, um, you know, sonically, lyrically. I've just really been looking forward to putting a body work together that I feel like people get to know me more through. They get excited about what's coming. Um, and that's kind of what this is about. So Complicated is fun. I love the that track itself is really, really cool. Mm-hmm. It's very different. Uh it was the last song to go on the EP, okay. but, but, but was the winner of the title, so really oh, looking wow. forward to it. Best best for last, right? This is it. Um, what's something you think people make complicated or just like overcomplicate things that doesn't need to be? Texting. <laughs> okay, in what way? Yeah, Let I think like why. communicating through text is one of the worst things ever. Because you just interpret like what, the, the tone? The thing wrong, yeah. It's just like, or like you have like a 20 or 10 minute texting series and yeah. it's like, you know, if you're just like call and do like the one minute conversation yeah so, so you so prefer calling. over complicated on texting for sure That's sounds like you've had some some complicated text Definitely <laughs> called out i saw you actually posted a picture with avril lavigne yes. also to to promo kind of your album didn't even know that that was gonna be towards promo but it worked I mean, out perfect i mean it kind of like yeah i didn't even know that complicated was gonna be the title track of the okay. EP. Like, so she we had a little event during grammy week in la with uh, my management team and, and she ended up being there and yeah, just took a random photo and then it looked Love like a, a cool idea with the EP. Love that. Everybody two, thinks two she's going to be like, stars. everybody's like, oh, she's going to be on it. And I'm like, no, she's not on it. Just, you know, everybody's like thinking <laughs> she's speaking. Let me have my moment that. here. Yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. Love that. Okay, well, one of your songs, Trouble, peaked at number one at Country Radio. It's gone gold. First Canadian direct signed country artist to do so in over 25 years. It's crazy. Like, when you hear stuff like that, what are your thoughts? Are you like, wow, I'm out here making moves. <laughs> yeah, I it definitely, you know, making moves, but, you know, just keep my head down and, and really trying to, you know, work towards my goals and um, very lucky to be from Canada and represent Canada. That's something I always, I never forget. And yeah, yeah I'm just, just extremely lucky and I'm glad that people, you know, again, resonate with the songs and totally. they all mean so much to me. So for it to mean something to other people is really yeah. incredible. Who's your biggest inspiration these days? Um, I'm a huge Luz Capaldi fan. Love. Yes. Yeah, so Shout I, out. I definitely uh, just resonate with, again, as a fan. Uh, yeah. his, his music, his lyrics, um, 
the feelings, all that kind of stuff. So always, always watching for him and, and glad he's, you know, putting stuff out again. I feel like you got a lot of things going on too, just like speaking on the Junos. Um, you sold out your first headline Canadian tour, the Trouble Tour. You toured with Nickelback. Yeah. That Any was good fun. advice from those guys? Just how to control a crowd, how to, you know, ride the, ride the crowd, um, depending on, you know, the mood that they're in, uh, what day of the week it is, totally. um, energy levels. Uh, definitely learn to party and have fun, but yeah. also r ring it back in. And Best of both worlds. Yeah, experience. definitely. Yeah. it's. Uh, I think I've started to master it, honestly. And yeah. I like, I like to say, I say that now and then watch. I have a, like a bad <laughs> night and I can't, I can't go sing at one of my next shows, but. <laughs> Uh, never have canceled a show due to having too much fun. So, um, so far doing pretty, <laughs> doing pretty good. Yeah. And you're going on tour with Bailey Zimmerman. Yep. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there. yeah. Lots on the horizon. What are you most uh, excited for with that? Just yeah. Again, oh, the Bailey stuff's just incredible. The, the crowds are incredible. He's such a great artist, uh, great friend. Shout out to Bailey for you know having my back also always, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's a mutual thing. So very very lucky of that. And um, yeah, that'll carry me right through to. To, to May this year, we go to the UK, and then I'm really looking Amazing. forward to that. Never That's been. That's so exciting. <clears throat> so looking forward to that, and then uh, yeah, just just more music. I, the EP is not just the last of the music for this year, so okay. um, really looking forward to that. Now for more this then. Is it. Yes. Josh Ross. Josh Ross. Josh Ross. Josh Ross. Josh Ross. <laughs> Thank you so are. much for being here. Thank you so much. Looking forward to everything yes. that's coming. Congrats on everything. Thank you so the Juno nominations. Thank you. The new EP. Go check it out, guys. Here Make sure go. you stream. Let's get complicated. Yeah, let's, let's get, get complicated. <laughs> and much love. love. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.